Spring Integration Enrichers. Hello again everybody, my name is Jim White with Intertech and this is part six of our eight part tutorial series on Spring Integration. As a matter of review, in the last tutorial we looked at Spring Integration Routers. Spring Integration Routers act as message distribution components, that is they take messages from one channel, we'll call it the inbound channel, and distribute that message to one or more other channels. We'll call those the outbound channels. Some of the routers look at the message and determine where that is which channel to send the message, while other routers simply spray that message to all receiving channels. Content routers, for example, look at the inbound message and determine either based on the payload or a header value which of the outbound channels should receive the message. Whereas recipientless routers don't look at the messages, either their payload or header value. Instead, they simply deliver the message from the inbound channel to all of the outbound channels, which are part of a recipient list. Today's tutorial is all about enrichers. Enrichers add information or content to a spring integration message. They pull a message from a channel, again we'll call that an inbound channel. They add data or information to either the payload or the header of the message and then post that message to another outbound channel. In fact, enrichers are considered a variant of a transformer. You might recall in an earlier tutorial we talked about transformers, those spring integration components that transform or otherwise change a message, either its headers or its content. So an enricher, in fact, is a form of a transformer, but it's one that's always adding content to either the header or the payload. As we've seen with all spring integration components, there are a number of enrichers that come out of the box. But, as we've also seen with spring integration, you can also create your own enrichment customization. You do that by adding specific spring integration components to the enrichment configuration. Typically that's done through what we call a service activator. The integration pattern icon for enricher is shown here at the bottom of the slide. To begin our exploration of enrichers, let's take a look at a header enricher. As its name implies, a header enricher is going to add data, in this case, to the header of the message. In this example, the enricher is looking at an input channel called in and is going to place the message in an output channel it calls out. What it's looking at is taking the message and adding a priority header as well as a custom header called payment account ID. In the case of the priority header, it's going to add the value of highest into that priority header. In the case of the payment account ID, it's adding the value of 234562. Notice that here, as we see by this example, there are some what we call standard headers, things like priority, which, if you will, allows for a little bit more concise, shorter configuration, but there are also the ability to add custom headers. In this case, that payment account ID is a custom header, or otherwise known as a generic header. In this example, we see a payload enricher. Unlike the header enricher that adds information to headers, payload enricher, as its name would imply, is going to add data to the message payload. Now, presumably in this case, the messages are going to have some sort of object in their payload one that has a property, or if you will, an instance variable called ship date. And what this payload enricher is doing is adding a new date object to that property, or in, in this case, into the instance variable called ship date. Finally, another type of enricher which you'll get to experience during your lab is what we'll call a custom enricher one that uses another spring integration component, in this case a simple service activator, to provide the data back to the enricher that it uses to add information to the message. So in other words, in this case, a custom enricher would pull a message off of the inbound channel, as we see in this picture. It would pass that message off to, through another channel, in this case a request channel, to another component, the service activator, 
which would return data back to the enricher so that it can then add data to the message and then push it into the outbound channel. So if you will, the enricher in this case, when it's being customized, serves more as a manager than the actual component that do most of the work. The real gathering of data is usually done by another component like a service activator when customizing the enrichment process. With that, I believe you're ready to tackle lab number six. In lab number six, you will revisit some of the transformation work, in particular, the XML to object transformation. You'll be turning XML documents into shipment order messages. And it's those shipment order messages that you will use enrichers to add data to. In particular, adding a Boolean property to the shipment order message, indicating that the shipment has actually been accomplished. In other words, that it shipped. You also create a custom enricher with the help of a service activator to add a total order cost to the shipment order object. Good luck with lab number six, and we hope you'll come back for tutorial number seven, which will address service activator, components you've actually used throughout many of the tutorial labs up to this point.